so this will be just a short video. This is just something that I just looked into a little bit, but uh, definitely needs a lot more studying and a full teaching in the future. But this is going to be about prevenient grace or preceding grace. So uh, Calvinists will say, you know, man is totally depraved. You know, man has a fallen nature and uh, there's no way that they can even believe in God without without God's help somehow, you know, how, uh, you know, Calvinists believe that man is totally depraved and God must, uh, must regenerate them so that they can believe. Um, so there's, there's, there's a lot that goes into this, but I just want to share a couple verses. And so we would say that, yes, there is prevenient grace. There is preceding grace before saving grace, okay? Uh, before salvation, the Holy Spirit is active in people's lives, okay? And so let's look at uh, John 16, verse 8. John 16, verse 8, speaking of the Holy Spirit, says, And when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin and righteousness and of judgment. So, um, the Holy Spirit convicts people, okay? convicts them of their sin, uh, you know, of righteousness, of judgment. So the Holy Spirit is active in the world convicting people. Um, then let's look at Acts 9, Acts 9 verse 5. And, and Saul said, uh, he said, Who art thou, Lord? Speaking to Jesus. And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks, okay? So before, before this moment, Saul has been getting pricked. You know, his conscience is being pricked by the Holy Spirit, and he's being convicted. Um, but he has resisted up until now. So, you know, Calvinists, they have irresistible grace. You know, um, they say that, You know, they say that, I don't know, <laughs> I got to put, put more of the eye to it before making a video, really, but uh, the man's so totally depraved that if God gives them the choice to choose God or not to, then they're always going to choose, uh, they're always going to choose not to submit to God. So therefore, uh, for anyone to be saved, then, then saving grace, it must be irresistible. God must automatically, you know, regenerate them uh, by his will uh, without without their choice. Uh, but, you know, that's not what the Bible teaches, okay? So, yes, there has to be a grace. God is always working with people, wooing them, drawing them to repent and to turn to him, but it can be resisted. And man must make that choice, okay? But man cannot save himself in and of himself, okay? It is by the grace of God that people are saved. But salvation must be received. It is a gift, okay? So I just want to give you those couple verses. This is prevenient grace or preceding grace, okay? So we really must learn this and understand this. I have to do more studying on it. But for now, you got those passages that speak of, you know, the Holy Spirit pricking Saul, and he was resisting it. So, you know, God's grace is resistible, and uh, so there's that. Thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.